GTR today? Uh, John's GTR is a very rare 09 fully stock that we just did full bolt-ons on including flex fuel so we're going from stage zero to a three plus right on the spot but for now we're just gonna focus on tuning 93 octane that way we have a good baseline for the flex fuel tuning later All right, so we're gonna do a one through six gear of just cruising and logging and recording to make sure that we can calibrate for drivability. This is a part that a lot of people skip, but it's actually where we, where the car runs for most of its life. Like how many times are you gonna be at 7,000 RPMs? Not long, not much. But cruising around from 1,000 to 4,000 RPMs, that's where the car lives. So we're gonna spend a lot of time just doing some steady state tuning going through the RPM band in every gear and making sure that the car is hitting its targets and it's happy with its setup. Okay guys, did our first pass with the boost turned up, um, but ran into a little hitch at 5600 RPMs. Seems like a boost cut. But rather be safe than sorry and just go through the whole log. Um, but this is part of the tuning process that no one really gets to see. But we gotta sift through all this stuff. So we'll find it in a few minutes, correct it, and then we'll be able to get that full 20 pound pass of 93 PSI, 93 octane. someone so happy about being out of gas. <laughs> Alright, so you want to explain why we're happy about being out of gas real quick? After all this time, for once we finish a 93 pump tune on full E. So we don't have to drain, we can just slap on some E85 and have some fun. All right, so previously on pump gas, we had about 7% ethanol based off our, our flex fuel kit. When I fire up with 10 gallons of E85 on an empty tank, Let's see how high it goes up. Fired up nicely, no worries. Now let's see if that goes up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, 50% ethanol and climbing. 62%. The car is not running that bad, so I am gonna log.
Yeah. Got some room to go, so we're gonna try. Look, the children like blow off valve noises, so I'm gonna get them. To the children appreciate it. See that safety light? So, got boost, flex fuel kits, actually has supplies, those LED lights, so just in case there's an issue with it, that light will kind of alert you to check out your flex fuel sensor. So after making a small tweak and fine tuning it for P85, it's actually not so bad already where it is. Um, clearly we'll add some more stuff to it and try to clean it up. But on E85, it was an instant 70 horsepower gain. We went from 570 to about 615 right now. Um, we still have a little bit more to go. Um, it's gonna be a long night, but E85, it's like the magic juice because it burns 33% colder than 93 octane and that's really where the benefit is. It's not the fuel itself. Well, it is the fuel itself, but it's the properties that it possesses. So, yes, you use one-third more than pump gas, but it also burns one-third colder than standard 93 octane pump. And when it burns colder, we can get a little bit more aggressive on, on the settings and we can produce more power. Thank <laughs> you.